Creating high quality videos for your projects using AI can be quite a rewarding task, but not so much if you have to pay top dollar for access and you do not particularly have it. So in today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can create amazing videos just like these ones for absolutely free. Without wasting time, let me show you how. Go over to Leonardo AI and hit create an account. If you already have one, just click launch app and the link is in the description box below. So this is the home page that you will see. Now I have done a tutorial on Leonardo AI when it comes to image generation. So if you've not seen that video, I'll link it below so you can just go ahead and look at that. So for today, we are just going to uh, concentrate on three things. We we'll look at real-time canvas, universal upscaler, and motion. So basically, those are the three things that I basically didn't cover in the last tutorial. To get started, just come over here and click on motion. So this is the window that will open up. And as you can see, you can go ahead and select the image that you want. Unfortunately, with Leonardo AI, you cannot upload your own image. You either have to use a, an image that you've created in your own personal feed, or you can use an image from the community feed. Of course, from your personal feed, you'll be able to see all the images that you have been creating with Leonardo AI. The next thing, so you can just go ahead and choose one of the images from here. So the next thing you can do is hit uh, the community feed. And from here, you'll be able to just scroll through and you can choose to use an image from this feed for the purposes of this video let's just choose one of these images so let's choose this one and you're going to click on confirm so it's just going to take you back to this window and now if you're not satisfied you can just click on replace and you can go ahead and choose a different image and you can also select uh, a different image from your feed by clicking on this button over here if you're satisfied with the image that you have chosen then you can adjust the motion strength but for now let's just go ahead and use it as it is hit generate now just go back to your image generation page and you'll be able to see your creation over here so let's just play the video and see how it turned out as you can see the movement here is very subtle and that's because we did not adjust the motion strength so what you're going to do is you're going to go over here again and choose a different image so from the community feed, we'll just go back to community feed and you're going to choose a different image. So we're just going to scroll through and let's just make use of this image. And now we are going to click on confirm. So now once you're on this page, what you need to do is scroll down. And the next thing you need to do is adjust the motion strength. As you can see, it's at two and that is very low actually. So let's put it at five. And now we can just go ahead and generate with these parameters. Of course, this is going to be public. If you want your generations to be private, then you need to be on a pro account. So let's hit generate. And again, once you go back to your image generation page, you'll be able to see the progress of your video creation there. So let's just look at this one. And as you can see, the movement here is just so good. You can see the movement in the water, the camera motion, like this looks so good. So remember to adjust the motion strength depending on the kind of image that you're using. Now you can also use one of your images from the image generation page. Just go to the image and as you can see down here, there are all these tools that you can use. So as you can see now, this is the motion one and all you need to do is just click on that motion button and that way you'll just be directed directly to the, uh, you know, the video generation page. So once you have adjusted the motion strength and everything, all you need to do is just go ahead and hit generate. Now back in the image generation page, let's just go ahead and create a few images that we're going to be using in the next demonstrations. So here are the first images that we have generated. So let's just go ahead and change a few things over here. So we're just going to change uh, the prompt just a little bit. You're also going to change the aspect ratio and you're also going to choose the, a different style from what we had chosen before. So let's just go ahead and generate with these new parameters and see if we get better images. Uh, so here are our images. We'll see if we can actually make use of this in the next demonstrations. If not, we'll just make use of some of the images that I had created earlier. The next tool that we'll be looking at is the universal upscaler. So just click on that and you're going to click on add image. So in this case, we can actually upload our own image that we want to upscale. But we'll just go to choose an image, uh, one of the images from my previous creations. 
So we are going to choose an image that is actually a bit blurry or the quality isn't that good. So let's choose that one. And now we can come over here and just and just go ahead and you know adjust some of the parameters. And now here is our upscaled image. As you can see, the AI has gone ahead and actually made corrections to our previous image. So it's not exactly the image that we had before. Now you can actually upscale from the image generation page down here from these tools. You can just go ahead and hit upscale. And as you can see in the image upscaler options, we have four options that you can make use of. And each of them is explained uh, what exactly will happen to your image once you choose it. Is It's actually very self-explanatory. So all you need to do is actually choose what you want to happen to your image. So I'm just going to choose the HD Crisp Upscaler. So I'm just going to choose this and we'll just go ahead and look at our new image between the old image and the new image. So as you can see here, our image has been upscaled. Just click on the image. So this is the upscaled image. And once you go down here, you'll be able to choose between the original and the upscaled image. So just toggle between the two and you can just compare and see which one you like better. Next, let's look at the real time generation. And what this basically is, is that an image will be generated as you type your prompt. So the, mo the more you will type your prompt, the more the AI adjusts the image that is on the screen. So let's just go ahead and do this. So here are some presets that you can use. You can adjust either uh, up or down, depending on how much you want them to influence your creation. So let's just start typing and we are just going to be creating an old woman. As you can see, the more descriptive you get, the more the, you know, the image on your screen will keep changing. So we're going to give her short hair and here it is already. So basically, as you can see, what happens is the, the, as you input your prompt, the AI, you know, executes it immediately. As you can see, the more I describe the image, the more the image keeps shaping up like this is so cool. So what you can do is you can actually go ahead and change the settings depending on the kind of image that you want to see. So just go ahead and change over here. We're going to choose uh, dynamic for instance. So as you can see now the image is totally different. So just go ahead and play with these settings and see if you can get the, you know, the kind of image that you want. So with the elements, you can actually go ahead and adjust them as well because they're actually going to give different strengths are going to give you a totally different character. So make sure you just, you know, change all these, play with them and see the kind of, you know, output that you get. So at the end of the day, you can walk away with the exact kind of image that you want. I hope you learned something new today and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.